اجي هوبي اجي شوف كم لوك Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Uh, if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe below. Today, we are going to make a dairy free coffee creamer. This creamer, of course, you can use in coffee, you could use it in tea, you could use it in hot chocolate. Basically, use this creamer as you're going to use any other dairy creamer. So, so today, we're using almonds, we're using hazelnuts, dates, cinnamon some boiling hot water. We'll strain it through our nut milk bag, which if you don't have a nut milk bag, buy one. <laughs> and we'll have our creamer. It'll last for about a week in the fridge, um, but I think it's gonna be so delicious, you're gonna go through it really quickly. So with that said, let's get started. Great, so we will put the recipe right after this and also in the description, so stay tuned for the recipe. Depending on the sweetness, you can add less dates if you don't want it to be sweet, add more if you want it to be super sweet, but you're using a lot of nuts today, so you're gonna have a nut pulp left over. We'll talk about that later, but uh, to get going, we're just gonna throw everything into our blender. We wanna make sure that we take the pits out of our dates though. Don't forget to take the pits out, otherwise you'll ruin the whole thing. <laughs> so we'll pit our dates, we'll throw it in the blender and blend it all up. I'm taking the bits from the date. Okay, I finished my job. Okay, great. So we have about a cup and a half of almonds. Feel free to use a little bit less if you'd like. But a cup and a half of almonds. We have a quarter cup of hazelnuts. These are so delicious. They will give it a little depth. Your creamer won't just be almonds, you'll have some hazelnut. And then we have four dates here. These are Majul dates. Use whatever dates you like, but this will give it sweetness. And finally, a little half teaspoon of cinnamon. Throw that in your blender. And we grab our boiling water. We let it soak for just a couple minutes and we'll come back. So we have our boiled water, about four and a half cups in here. And we put the lid on and let everything soak. This is the trick to help everything break down a lot. Let it soak in the hot water for about three to five minutes, and then after it's soaked, we'll blend. So we actually created this recipe because my father loves to drink coffee and he loves to use creamer, um, but lately he's been trying to stop drinking so much dairy and use a plant-based creamer. So when mom and dad were here in Morocco, um, we showed them how to make this recipe. And back in California now, he makes this recipe, I don't know, once, twice, a couple times a month, and he loves it. So even for the folks who can't get rid of their dairy creamer, they love it so much, try this recipe, really. There's a lot of depth, there's a little sweetness, it's really thick, um, we think you're gonna love it. So give it a shot, let us know below. So that foam on top is exactly what you want, but right now we have to strain it. We have all the pulp in there with the creamer, so let's strain it out and keep going. Okay, this is our nut milk bag. You can see it's slightly stained from all the times that we've used it. They're only a couple dollars and they're super worth it. It makes straining your nut milks the easiest thing ever. So put this in a little bowl and then we will strain out our creamer. Whoa. So right now, when you've strained it immediately, it's super hot. So what I like to do is hang this little bag over the bowl. So hang it from something, let it strain out, 
um, leave it for about 30 minutes and then it'll cool down enough so that you can squeeze it out and wring out everything. So what you're left with is nut pulp. You'll have your creamer, you'll pour your creamer into a glass container with a lid, store it in the fridge, it'll be good for about a week. Bissaha, enjoy. But the pulp left in the bag is super important. Try not to throw it away. It can be quite wasteful, right? You have all these nuts in there. Um, try to dry it on the stove. Put a nonstick pan, pour your pulp, low heat, let it dry out, and use it as a substitute for any recipe that calls for almond flour. So it'll be a little bit thicker, but it'll work just as well. We love to use our nut pulp in our banana bread recipe. I'll try to link it right above. It's the perfect recipe uh, to substitute the almond flour for. So with that, we'll wait a moment, we'll try it, and we'll see how it is. It's so great to try nut milk. It's just uh, from nuts and it's super healthy. It's much uh, way better than cow milk. Then as I like, Coffee milk, like we call it in Morocco, nus nus, like half milk, half coffee. Now with the nut milk, I just mix my coffee with it and it's much better than cow milk. And I'm so happy to try this way and like it. Yeah, you can also try and let us know in the comments. We really like to hear from you. So great. It's good. Try it. Pleta, right? Schoon hobby. It's hot. I I told him to wait, but he insisted that he could do it sooner than 30 minutes, and he yeah, I is. Finish the video soon. Sophie. Sophie. Doing? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna do that again because I did that last video. So we're going to use. Mm. 